smoke box. I have to clean this plastic off first, be helpful. So clean the thread off inside, you have a little notch on there, which marries up with the a smoke box, like so. There will be a bit of fettling and cleaning up to do. But then you have which I don't have actually here. Um, Be at the minute, I think I left it in the other room, but I have to go and get it. Um, yeah, give us two seconds. in there with two uh, nuts inserted in there which then that gets into there and what you do is once you know that's all in position get your saddle tank that on the top, push all the way so the smoke box um, you can leave a tiny little gap if you like. Once you're happy with that, tighten that down. Uh, you can leave that loose for now, but um, you can tighten that down. So that is. I'll set that up, make that removable so you've got all the room to fit batteries and everything inside. And there will be a list of uh, parts that you can buy for it. Alright, so now we'll stick to the front at the minute. You've got your sand boxes. Straightforward, glue them on wherever you feel like. Uh, you have spectacle rings which are printed, be careful, they are quite small. They get glued on around the window once you've painted them gold. You have the gold bunker. You have to clean up, and that slides in there. And you can actually fill that with real coal, as I did on my one, which I'll show you in a minute. Also, on the saddle tank, you have the water filler that gets glued on there with the point facing towards the front, I think. Um, sorry, facing backwards, that was on my one. So that gets glued on there, like so. And with the kit, you'll get all the rivets on a little spool. Glue them all the way around, as on my one. So she got little gauges, um, hand wheels to go inside the cab. Um, if you're a Facebook member then you will see uh, pictures of my interior which does include in this kit 
So that's your cab, that's your other part. You have the brake with a little door on it. Tape on your big wheels and stick that on the front here. So you have your handbrake and then that gets glued on in there to like the brake handle. Right, I'll put this to one side. So now you got this. You've got your reverse lever. That gets glued on flush with there and the front. Um, as you can see in your video, you're looking at this backwards. I think, yeah. So, as you know, probably will be forwards. Um, I've got my camera backwards. See that gets glued on. You have your fire box detail, which comes with all the detail on it. Um, I don't clean this up very much because I quite like the roughness of the fire box. You have a 3D printed regular handle, which you have to drill a hole in the top. And that gets roughly set about 45 degrees in there. Drill your other holes out, those two for your water gauges, which get glued in there. Make sure they don't protrude from the back so they're nice and flush. And then that gets glued on the front. Trying to keep all the detail as much as possible. And then you've got your my favourite part, the little steam turret, which was very hard to design. That it comes in two parts. You glue that on bottom part on so little stump. Drew a hole in the centre. I should have really put it in the 3D printed part, but again, you can't adjust the movement. So once you're happy, push that on top, like so. You can do all your little pipe fittings and stuff, however you like. Um, it's a joy about this kit. You can pretty much do whatever you want to it. So once that's done, that gets put in there. Pretty good job, put it on the video. Isn't it? Put that in there. Job done. Do the same with that as well. It's glued in there. So that's basically that. Um, yeah, I've got some, uh, some brass wire and that comes with it, so I'll show you my model on that. As you can see in there, the brake wheels, all the little gauges in there. Um, doesn't come with a little chain inside. You've got the coal, little coal bunker. So if you make this removable, put your radio control. Right, the last stage is the cab back. Probably the most hardest part I've had to try to make easy for you. You insert four pins so they stick out um, 
probably about six or seven mil need to stick out on one side. The 1.5, drill them out uh, to 1.5 mil, slide them in, do not glue them, get you over the back of your cab, and then line up the pins. Once you know they line up, pushes together. Excellent. So you know that's going to be solid. So what I did last time is I opened up a bit, a gap, ran some super glue down the slot, clamp up, leave dry, and then sand the join, sand it all down, and paint it. Uh, yeah, so pretty straightforward. Um, you've got the little tags on here if they break off, which I think they will. Um, I would cut them off, sand them down, and bend a piece of wire going down to drill a one and a half mil hole and come down with a rod. Um, I'm not going to 3D print with these anymore. Um, I keep breaking them. So there would just be a wire coming down. Or I might 3D print that part on its own so you just glue it on. But, um, it's very hard to do. So once you've got that, you've got some. Head skins in there for two mil nuts. Put them in. You've got two holes at the front top, which need to marry up with the two holes on the top of there. Should do. And what you do is you bolt that down through that. Two pin holes that are up here slide in to this to make the back removable if you need to take the back off. If it's too high, sand the bottom. You can't always guarantee when I print the cab, the height may vary in point 0.1, point 0.2, pardon me, or point 0.3, depending on. Um, air in the room, the heat and everything else. So, yeah, so that gets glued on, uh, not screwed on, bolted on to the back. And then you also got uh, seats, 3D printed, very tiny, so be careful with a little seat, a little bit of uh, one mil wire which is included through there, glue them on pretty much however you like really, um, you can make them move, um, you can have them down, you can have them up, um, pretty much do what you like and then glue them one either side of the cab back. Um, so that is it. Um, I think if there's any questions or anything you would like to know about the model, give me a shout on my website or Facebook. Or Give me a ring if you get stuck. Um, so yeah, so if you want any more information or any pictures and stuff of my model, I will email them to you, show you what I've done with the detail. Um, the lining was done by Bradley Pitworks. 
Thank you very much, Matt. You can see you've done a very good job. Uh, the handrail knobs are included um, in the kit as well, which are plastic. And in the brass handrails on the top, uh, you have to drill uh, the, the saddle tank to where you want to put them yourself. Um, that's basically it. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.